Good God morning. How how are you? Good God morning. Life is good and all is well. I am a part. Let me first pray this one prayer. It's called the Pono Pono prayer. Please forgive me. I apologize. I love you and thank you. Please forgive me. I apologize. I love you and thank you. Please forgive me. I apologize. I love you and thank you. Please forgive me. I apologize. I love you and thank you. Please forgive me. I apologize. I love you and thank you. Please forgive me. I apologize. I love you and thank you. Please forgive me. I apologize. I love you and thank you. Please forgive me. I apologize. I love you. Thank you. Why am I saying that prayer? I am saying that prayer just for me today because it is very late. It's 8 o'clock and I am usually here at 6.30. Oh, but something came up as usual and we just wrap our head around it and we just do it, right? Right? I'm going to tell you this story. My granddaughter is in the fourth grade. And she did this amazing science project. And my daughter said, Mommy, can you write it up for her or help her to write it up? Which I did. And it took me all day. You see, even though I was a science teacher, I never, ever really put together a science project. Never. I've done. I did projects when I was in school, but I was not a. I was not in a t- typical school setting, and we didn't have to do science projects. I only did them when I started teaching science, and this. I just wrote it down and went through the process with the kids, and everything. And what I realized is that never, no teacher is alike. So be careful when you put your children in these private schools and public schools. Be very aware that not all the teachers do what they're supposed to do. So this lady gave, told her she had to be a, have a science project. She didn't give her a packet of how, she, how it should be done, what she, her expectations were. She didn't even give them a date to when it was supposed to be due, right? Isn't that crazy? So anyway, we were rushing to finish it. Did a good job, I think. We did a a PowerPoint together. And of course, my daughter, Miss Perfect, Miss I Must Check This Perfection, went through their process. So I was up kind of late last night. And now I'm at my daughter's house. And it's funny how... When you're at someone else's house, sometimes it's hard to get woke. Good morning, Barry. I apologize again. Good morning, Arlene. It's good to have you. Good morning, Richard. How's that book coming? Uh, My friend, First Lady Rose Kelby, how are you? How is your husband? I hope you gave him much love. I know you guys love each other just immensely. It's great to have you. So anyway, I woke up late this morning and then realized that I'm in Clinton, Maryland. And I have a doctor's appointment at 1 o'clock all the way in Bethesda with no car, right? I'm like, okay, God, should I change this appointment? Life shows up. And I have to just flow with it. Like I said yesterday, it's easier, excuse me, it's easier to just flow with not with life, not lament with life, not worry a lot about life. Just make a decision that works for you. Just works for you. 
You know, I love my daughter. Of course, she's my only child. I love my granddaughter. But one of the reasons why I retired from teaching was because I do not want to do that kind of work anymore. But, and I realized that once you're a parent, you're a parent for life. That's it. That's all. And sometimes you have to, I have to move out of my norm to just do the right thing. Just do the right thing in happiness and joy. Right? So I overslept. <laughs> All that to say I overslept. So the Ho'oponopono prayer, I apologize. Please forgive me. I love you and thank you. Ease this my soul. It doesn't really help anyone but me. But I give you that prayer when things are not going quite like you want them and you're feeling some guilt or anxiety, forgive yourself. I apologize. Please forgive me. I love you and thank you. That's it and that's all. Barry, how's school coming? I have Dr. Reverend, Reverend Dr. Barry Burns on the feed today. One of my very best friends and longtime friends. This man is amazing. He's actually everything that I would want in a man. He is just amazing. He's a doc he's working on his doctorate. He's a a captain on a ship. He's a pilot. He's done everything that he ever, he's a mason, he, he's a minister, he's done everything that he ever desired to do. And I'm, I'm sure he's on the road to do greater things. He's into African, African American history to the max. He's a man that you can learn from. And then I have Richard, who is an author of Just a Thought. Let me tell you a little bit about Richard. Richard uh, used to send me these morning thoughts. And at the end of each one, he would say, just a thought. And I'd say, you know, that would make an amazing book. And here it is. He wrote a book. Give us your link um, if you can, Richard. I know you're at work. But you can go to his Facebook page, Richard Bird, B-Y-I. R -M -B -Y -R -D, and order his book on Amazon, Just a Thought. I love my friends. They are amazing. And then we have Arlene, who is an amazing meditator. She used to, she and her husband now do a Bitcoin education. Go to her Facebook page and see. And then we have Deacon Eric Oh, uh, I have these amazing friends. I want my friends to meet my friends because all of my friends are amazing. So anyway, let's get into the lesson. Yesterday, we were talking about the fact that this is a review. A review of all the lessons that we have taken on for the last couple of weeks. Of course, we are talking about A Course in Miracles. My, I recommend this book highly as a catapult to change your relationship with the Almighty Creator. It has taught me to count it all joy. Know that everything behind, there is good behind everything. God only wants us to be happy, joyous, and free, wealthy with all. Hey, Daniel, how are you? That's my in-laws, Daniel Booker Jr. Has, how, how He just had a baby. I mean, well, his girlfriend just had a baby. He might as well have had it. He went through it with her. He's a man. I have known him since he was a child. And now he's a full-grown man. He's an amazing 
Man, I am so grateful for the people who have crossed my path in this lifetime. Yes. How many of you are grateful for the friends and the family that you have come in into this world with? And Matt, if you are, give me some hearts and some... Because as you grow, you learn and remember how life has been so uh, expanded because of them. How you have, they have given you all that they have. And some of it has been bad or felt bad in the past. But as you build your relationship, it becomes so much better. And love shows up. Which reminds me that I have a card that I picked uh, from Esther and um, Esther and Abraham Hicks. It says, the main event isn't the destination, it's my joyous journey. Isn't that amazing? It's not where you go, it's how you get there. When you get to the end of the road and you're about to take that step over into the another world, or another place. It's the journey that's so much important, so much better. It's the things that you have done, the places you have been, the changes you have made to self, how you've affected other people's lives. And so he says, she says, you don't come forth seeking assignments to complete. You can't, you came forth for reason to flow. And to love and to enjoy life. Ooh, that makes me feel so good. Even though you will return home at the end of any vacation, the idea of your holiday is not to complete it as quickly as possible so that you can check it off your list. The idea of your vacation And of this life experience is to have a joyous experience. Have a joyous experience. (laughs) Be as happy and joyous as you can. So anyway, this morning's lesson is the review of lessons 95 and 96. And they are very short because they just remind you of what you we're doing or lessons to keep you your mind at ease. So they're supposed they are to be done in the morning and in the evening, right? I am one self united with my creator. Say that to yourself or say it out loud. I am one self united with my creator. That's another way of saying I am one in God. I am one with God. I am one self united with my creator. Serenity and peace. Hey, Daryl. Thank you. Thank you for showing up. Serenity and peace. Perfect peace are mine. Because I am one self completely whole at one with all creation and with God. Oh, isn't that a great thought to know? A place to begin your every morning. I am one self united with my creator. Serenity and perfect peace are mine because I am one self completely whole at one with all creation and with God. Isn't it really great that I started with the Haponopono crack prayer? Because that's what brings you peace with self. And now here it is, the Course in Miracles says, I am one self united with my creator in total harmony with all creation from plants to hey Howard how are you cuz in total harmony with everything 
To the point where you can stop the rain. You remember that song that, um, bring out the sun. Rufus says, I can't stand the rain. Well, if you can't stand it, stop it. Isn't that powerful? (laughs) All it takes is a command. All it takes is a prayer. Be protected in knowing that I am one self with The source, my creator. So that's supposed that should be said in the morning. We just said it. But then tonight, when you go through your night and get ready to, to go to sleep, lesson 96 says, salvation comes from my one self. I am here to save myself. And in saving me, everyone surrounded me is saved. I don't have to beat them up the head, beat them upside the head or any of that. Just say, salvation comes from my one self. From my one self whose knowledge still remains within my mind. I see God's perfect plan for my salvation perfectly fulfilled. Mm. There are many ways to say that one statement. From my one self, whose knowledge still remains within my mind, I see God's perfect plan for me, for my salvation, perfectly fulfilled. That's a declaration right there. Now, when they use the word self and mind in A Course in Miracles, It's with the capital letter. And that capital letter represents the creator, the source. That self inside of me. That self inside of me that wants to get out. That self inside of me that wants to change the world. That God self, that Christ Christ consciousness. The mind that keeps us in total perfect peace. Oh, Eric is my prayer. He says, good morning, good morning. Bless the Lord. It's going to be a beautiful day today. Always love. Always love you. I know you do. I love you too, Eric. So as we say these things, we change our inside. And we change that lowercase mind, M-I-N-D. And start using the capital M mind. That mind of Christ's consciousness. That mind of love. And it might take us a minute when things come go awry to come back to it. But remember, just a simple statement acknowledging who is in you. Who moves within you in total peace, perfect harmony, in life, in love. In forgiveness. Those things help me. They help the inner you to come forth. We can change this world. And we can change this world by just changing ourselves. Folks will catch on. It'll be an acad- uh, an epidemic. Yeah, an epidemic. Where everybody starts feeling in joy and love and peace, even when the bur- the building is on fire, even when life looks like it, we're in a hurricane or a tornado. In the middle of that storm, we find perfect peace, perfect harmony, perfect life, and we know that it'll be all. We know that for every situation, there is already a solution working in the background. Say thank you. Say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, creator, for working this out. Because I know you are. I don't think you are. I know you are. So in the morning... One or either you can do this all day long, 
on the top of the hour, you say, I am one self united with my creator. And on the half hour, you say, salvation comes from one, my one self. Salvation is peace, harmony, love. And over time, you'll start feeling and moving in that space. Reminding yourself who you are and whose you are. Remember. The image and likeness of God is in each and every one of us. It's hidden deep, deep in our heart. And it's up to us to bring it out and out and shine it. I remember the first time someone says, I see you. I see God in you. I always wanted them to say that. I want people to see God in me. That's it. That's all. I want evil to see that it cannot touch me. It cannot change my perception of the world, even if it hurts in the beginning. And I continue, pray, praise, and glorify the experience as it is with God. And peace comes. So, when you start feeling bad today, remember, or something shows up, some feeling, some person, just remember, I am one self united with my creator. Salvation comes from my one self. I am Rosie J. Doing it God's way each and every day. And I forgive myself. And I am my own salvation. So in the description, I have put a couple of things. I put the I Am Affirmation page link on Facebook. I put the link I Am, I am a Firmer, which is my link to my book and I put the YouTube channel and I put the gold channel where I save gold and that is an amazing journey God just gives me everything I desire and he I accept it and I'm happy hey Valerie good morning so remember I am one self united with my creator. Salvation comes from my own own self. My one self. My God self. My Christ conscious mind. Yes. Yes. Say yes. 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 Allow the spirit. Allow the creator. To work it on out. I'll see you tomorrow. And we'll be on lesson 14. Another review. Peace. Love.